guys this is Ty and welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do book reviews over the four books that I have read by Stephen King so far and I did want to mention one of the short stories that I was able to read by Stephen King so far but before I get into all that I just wanted to mention that I have seen a lot of the movies that have been inspired by the Stephen King novels but I haven't read a lot of the books obviously because I only have four to review for you guys today but I actually plan on changing that in 2021. So my goal for next year is to try and read as many Stephen King novels as I possibly can. And I would like to try and do dedicated reviews for each book that I end up finishing. So there will be more to come on that. Um, before we jump into the four books that I actually was able to read by him, I did want to mention the one short story that I read by him that is from his collection called different seasons and the short story that I read in here is called Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption and there was a movie made called the Shawshank Redemption wow that's a mouthful and the other short stories in here are called The Apt Pupil The Body which was made into the movie called Stand By Me I think and The Breathing Method um, I'm not gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna review Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. I just wanted to mention that I read it. Once I finish reading the rest of the short stories, then I will review this novel as a whole. So the first book that I want to get into, I feel like, is a fan favorite of Stephen King's, and it is a book that I just did not enjoy like I wanted to, and it pains me that I did not enjoy it. But the book that I'm talking about is Stephen King's Salem Lot. You know, I did not like this. Overall, I rated this book a two stars. And in case you don't know, this is essentially Stephen King's take on vampires. It is about a writer that moves back to a small town that is trying to get inspiration for his book. But the town that he moved back to has been... Is slowly being overrun by vampires. So we have this vampire that moved it in town, and then he's slowly turning all the townsfolk into vampires. I thought this book was extremely slow. It's extremely long. My copy is about 650 pages, and I will be the first to say that it did not need to be 650 pages. It was so slow. This book did not need to be as long as it was. That is my one true downfall of this story was it was too dang long. There was a lot of build up with the characters. I see that he tried to do a lot of character development, but at a certain point, I honestly just did not care because I was so bored. There were a few moments in the book that were kind of spooky. Um, it kind of had me like looking over my shoulder, making sure, <laughs> you know, nothing was there. But other than that, I just, I didn't like it. I hate to say that, but I just did not like it. And the one thing that really made me mad besides it being too long was we get all this buildup for about 600 pages. And the final scene that we're building up to literally lasts about 10 pages. And I'm probably being generous with saying that it lasted 10 pages. Because I don't even think it was 10 pages. But I hate when we have these stories that have all of this build up. And the thing that we're building up to only lasts a few pages. And that's exactly what happened here. And I just, I'm not a fan. I know that there was either a... I don't remember if it's a movie or a mini series, but whatever was made from this book, I'm not interested. I'm sorry to everybody that liked this book. I just was not one of them. So the next book that I have that I read from Stephen King was a book that I liked significantly better, and that would be Stephen King's Carrie. So if you don't know, Carrie is a story about a girl who has these telepathic, either telepathic or telekinetic powers where basically she can move or do things with her mind. But this is the story about how she was bullied while she was in high school, how she was raised by her nutcase of a mother, and how at the 
end of the story, she essentially snapped. So we have all of this build up and we get this backstory on why one day she just basically flipped out. And I liked it. <laughs> I did watch the original movie for this and I watched the remake that came out a few years ago and I enjoyed both of them equally the same. Um, one of the things that I really enjoyed about this story was that it was told in like mixed media format. So we had interviews from people who knew Carrie and grew up with Carrie that were thrown in here. We had like scientific journals, um, journal entries. We had newspaper entries that were thrown in here and I enjoyed it. It gave a different perspective to the story. And I just liked Carrie as a character. I felt so bad for her. I really empathized with her throughout the story. And at the end of it, I understood why she snapped. And I was rooting for Carrie. Most people don't say that, but I was actually rooting for her in the end. Um, now, I will say this was Stephen King's first novel. And this is one of the ones that I would recommend to people because it is one of his shorter novels. I think this is barely... Yeah, it's not even 400 pages. It's one of those stories that I feel like it gets right to the point. You know, we know Carrie is being bullied and then we know that at the end of the story, she snaps. That sometimes that's all I need in, in a story. I just needed to get straight to the point and that's what this one did. And this is something that I definitely would recommend to people who are just starting out with um, Stephen King's works. The next book that I read from Stephen King, surprisingly, is not one of his horror novels. I would consider this book more of a mystery thriller book, and that would be, oh, trying to get the glare off of it, but that would be Stephen King's Mr. Mercedes. And I really enjoyed this book. This is the first book in a trilogy, and I believe it's called like the Bill Hodges trilogy. But this is the story of a retired detective by the name of Bill Hodges, who right before he retired, there was this crazy guy who jumped into a Mercedes and ran down these people who were standing in line for a job there. And Bill Hodges really just could not deal with the fact that he was not able to solve this crime before he retired. Um, in his retirement, he actually received a letter from the killer who basically was taunting him for not being able to figure out who um, committed this crime. So this story is essentially Bill trying to figure out who did it and trying to stop this person from committing an even more detrimental crime later on. So I enjoyed it. Again, this is one of those stories that I would recommend to someone who is not looking for something that has horror in it but if you like mystery thriller this is definitely the one that I would recommend to you um like I said it's part of a trilogy I do have the other two books that I haven't gotten to yet but I'm looking forward to it because I have heard nothing but good things about the trilogy as a whole as I remember um this actually has a tv series that I believe was just called Mr. Mercedes I haven't heard too many reviews about it I actually just found out that it was a tv series not too long ago so if anyone has seen it and thinks it's good let me know down in the comment section I would like to check it out only if it's good <laughs> um but yeah I definitely recommend this one overall I did give this one a four stars now the last book that I read by Stephen King so far and the one that I liked the most out of the four books that I've already mentioned is Stephen King's The Long Walk. And this is one of the books that he wrote under his other, other name of Richard Bachman. So this is the story about this event that takes place every year that's called The Long Walk. And essentially it's about 100 boys. I think they range from the age like 14 to 16. And they basically start off at the starting line and they just get to walking and we're just following these guys walking and the objective of this event is the last boy walking is the one that wins a prize of absolutely whatever it is that they want but there are a few little rules here to this event um one of them is they can't get any outside help from anyone to help them get through this um long walk 
and they have to maintain a pace of four miles per hour. And I've seen other people review this story and I've heard that some people have tried to walk four miles per hour and that is not an easy pace to keep up with. And I believe it because I'm not going to try it. <laughs> but um, I really enjoyed the story. Um, so what I forgot to mention is they did have to keep up the pace of uh, four miles per hour and if they didn't you got three warnings and on your third warning you got shot to death so these boys essentially were just getting shot up left and right and <laughs> at times it was pretty graphic but i i thoroughly enjoyed it we mainly followed the main character by the name of ray garrity so we followed him throughout the whole story and we got to see him when he's meeting some of the other boys who are actually walking. And a lot of these characters, like, I felt for them. I felt sorry for them. I rooted for them. And some of them, I was just like, I can't wait <laughs> for them to die, unfortunately. But they were getting on my nerves and I couldn't wait for them to die. I like this story. This is another story that I would recommend to someone who is just getting started into Stephen King. Because, again, it's one of his shorter books. And we all know he don't write short books. So if there's a short book, I'm going to recommend it to you. <laughs> but this is one of his shorter books. I liked it. Um, at some points, because they were doing so much walking, I was getting tired. Like, I was walking. So that's why I say I really feel for these boys. And overall, I gave this story uh, four stars. I would have given it a five. The only thing that I did not like is that we never really got any backstory on why these, why we had this event called the long walk i wish we would have gotten some more information as to why they started this and why would these boys want to volunteer for something like this but overall i liked it so before i go like i said my goal is to try and read as many Stephen King novels as I possibly can. So I already have one that I'm going to be reading next. And that is going to be Stephen King's The Shining. So this is another iconic work from Stephen King. I've already seen the movie, but I've seen it like years, years ago. And I remember liking it, but I can't tell you specifics about it. So I'm excited to read the book. I'm excited because... I heard that the ending in the book is way different than the ending in the movie and some people prefer the ending of the book to the ending in the movie so I'm kind of curious to see where I fall in that so as soon as I get done with this book I will definitely be doing a non-spoilery and a spoilery review of this book when I when I get done so that's all I have for you guys today please like and subscribe Please leave me any comments down below in regards to what you guys think about the books that I mentioned here. And that's all that I have. Thanks. Bye.